Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an in-depth review for you of the brand new Monster High Great Scarier Reef doll, Calla Mary. This was the doll I was least excited to get because I thought she had a very harsh and scary expression, but now that I have her, I'm happy that I do. And side of her box says, Down Under Ghoul's Daughter of Confidential. That's interesting, so we don't know who her monster parent is? I mean, it's clear she's some kind of octopus or squid uh, heritage, but yeah, okay, back here, it's also scratched out, although the first letter appears to be an O, so maybe it is an octopus. And here's a little bit about Kala and um, how she loves to dance and wear bright colors and how the doll stands on its own and glows in the dark. We'll get to all of that and a blurb about the upcoming movie. And now I've taken Kala out of her box and stood her up and she does stand on her own so she doesn't need a doll stand. She also doesn't come with a comb which is just fine. She comes with a diary and this very interesting instruction sheet I want to show you guys. So it appears that we might have two dolls more in this line. Um, so do you see how on the far right we got Perry and Pearl? But who are these two dolls here? I don't recognize them. Do you guys? They seem to have glowing um, shoulders and something glowing at their waist. So Perry and Pearl on the right. Then to their left we have the three glowsome ghouls, Laguna, Torlai, and Frankie. Then there's Calamari and Posey in the middle. And then to the far left, those are two unidentified dolls. So I wonder if there are going to be two more um, special edition dolls to be released out of this line. If so, I'm excited. All right. So going through the diary was a bit um, disjointed. It, I can't really even honestly um, summarize it. But we find out a little bit about her dad, how he's lonely and misses her. Um, we see her interacting with Perry and Pearl. And then we see Posey Reef showing up at one of her performances. And then um, that's about it. Um, and then Laguna showing up at the end here. So, all right, let's go to the doll, Calamari herself. Calamari, of course, is a play on the name Calamari, which is um, fried squid. I wanted to show you how she has so many cool squid details on her. Like her lips have those um, bright orange dots representing suckers and um, I like her eyebrows which are painted to look like to me like french fries wavy french fries um, I like the purple slash pink skin the lighter purple markings over her eyes how her eyes are dark blue on an iris of turquoise and how her eyelashes um, almost look like fins on the top and bottom of her eyes there isn't that interesting and you see the little row of orange dots also. Instead of an eyelid, she has a row of orange dots. Her hair is also interesting. It's bright orange and navy blue striped. And it's held in a high ponytail above her head. And I also want to show you these interesting earrings and her interesting ears. So the earrings um, I thought were octopuses or octopi, but they actually only have seven arms. And then her ears are suckers. And there are two um, uh, serrations kind of behind her ears. And I think they're meant to denote gills, which I thought was very cool, very interesting. Very nice detail. And then taking a look at um, the parts below her neck, she has four arms. And each arm, well, three of them have um, some kind of decorative thing that she's wearing on them. So on that one arm on the right, she's got an orange fishbone bangle. On the arms on the left, she's got a hot pink bangle and a bright neon yellow fishbone bangle. I like how there's these two raised bumps near her throat and upper chest area. And her outfit's pretty cute. She's wearing a bandeau top and um, it's cinched together at the waist. It looks like she's wearing like some kind of a vest, an open vest, flowy, that's cinched together by a dark blue band at the waist. The vest here is um, super cool. Look at that. It looks like cuttlefish or squid, black cuttlefish and squid on a background of yellow. 
And her body is wider, I think, than most Monster High dolls, and it ends in four tentacles. And um, there's hot pink markings that fade um, down to a bright yellow, and she can be made to sit like so. And these tentacles have rows of suckers along them, which are very detailed, just like an octopus or a squid would. And um, she also has two pink fins coming out of her, of her lower half, which I think are very interesting. So overall, I think she's very well detailed. I'm going to guess she's daughter of the Kraken, the Octo Kraken. And here are her tentacles, the pink parts glowing in the dark. And oh, one other cool thing I found. Look at her hands. There are even suckers on her fingers. Can you guys see that? Overall, I think this is a very detailed doll and well worth the money. Are you guys going to get her? I hope you'll comment below and let me know what you think of her. Now it's time for some shout outs. Shout out to Crazy Cat Girl and Foxa Tessa, Foxa Tessa, please correct me if I pronounced your name wrong, as well as to Gwendolyn28 and Hero Brian Toys and Singer 2. Thank you all for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel.